So today I'm going to show you guys how I made my iOS 14 home screen look like this and I've gotten a lot of requests for this video and I also have some ideas that I haven't seen other people do yet. I also redid my boyfriend's home screen so I'll have all of my files and my boyfriend's files at the end of this video if you want to screenshot it and use it for yourself. If however you want your own customized home screen to your own style, I will be showing you how I did mine and some different tips and tricks I have. So let's get into it. So the first part is the lock screen and I made all of my files in Adobe Illustrator but I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make yours in the Canva app today because it's free and anyone can use it. You're going to want to start by screenshotting the lock screen you already have even if you don't like the way that it looks because you can bring it into the app and use it as an outline. Then you just want to open a blank file in the Canva app and then size it to the size of your phone. Everyone's iPhone is different depending on what type of iPhone you have. So you can just look up the dimensions of what you have. Once you have your document made, you can click the little plus button in the bottom right corner and it's going to bring up this menu and you can select photo. Then just select the screenshot that you took of your lock screen. And you can adjust the size of your canvas by clicking the three dots at the top and then adjusting it. And then you can stretch your screenshot to fit the screen. And then you're ready to design. So you have this blank canvas where you can put anything and you can see where it will line up with your lock screen. So one of the recommendations that I have is to click the plus at the bottom right and add an element. And then there's all these different shapes you can choose. I like to choose the circle and put it around the time at the top. And then you can type in some sort of inspirational quote really small beneath it. So it's like it tells you what day it is and then you can have a good day to have a great day or something like that, which I have for both me and Dylan's phones. And the great thing about this app is that it has hex codes. So if you have a hex code for a color that you like, or if you just want to make them in Canva, then you can have the same color for everything. And then you can just add any sort of element that you want to the bottom. I drew out my like half circle shapes on Adobe Illustrator, but you can use literally any of the different stickers they have in this app. They have all of these really fun shaped blobs and stuff, which are really trendy right now. And then you can also add your own photos in there too, which I'll show you later. And even if you like the color of one of the different shapes that you find on there, you can actually grab that color and use it for your circle. Then you just want to export what you have and set it as your lock screen and it will be super cute. Next, I'm going to show you how I made my icons and I know a lot of people already probably know how from TikTok, but I'm going to show you guys anyways in case anyone hasn't watched any tutorials yet. So I'm just opening Canva again and I'm using the Instagram shape because it's just a square. And again, I made my icons on Illustrator, but you can do it in Canva too. So all you want to do is just search up the app that you're looking for and then just click that symbol and you can stretch it out to fit. And then you can just change the icon color with a hex code. I personally like to have my icon be the color and then have the background of the icon white and then have a white wallpaper. So that way you can't see that weird square shape with the rounded edges because I personally don't like it. But if you don't like a white background, you could also have another color solid background and just use the same hex code and then you have just the icon instead of that weird shape. Or if you don't mind the shape, you can just reverse it and make the background your color and the icon white or black or whatever you want. And then you just want to go to shortcuts and you want to make one that opens an app and make it open Instagram. And then you can name it and add the photo and then you are basically good to go. As you can see here, I don't like putting my apps at the bottom of the screen. I like to leave some space at the bottom for whatever design I have as my wallpaper. And you can make your custom home screen just like how we did with the lock screen. Just screenshot it and use it as a guideline. That's how I got the hello and all the different round elements. If you're someone who doesn't like the shortcuts app popping up, I wouldn't recommend getting a third party app. I've seen some people do that and it kind of seems sketchy to me. But you can go into your settings and change the accessibility settings to reduce motion. That's what I do and it really doesn't bother me. And I'm positive that Apple will fix this very soon because everyone's doing it. Another element that I have is this color widgets app which lets me do the date and time and have a little background there. So all you have to do is just click into the app and you can choose one that you like or make one custom. And you can put a photo in the background, so I got a map of New York City because I really like New York City. But I just went to snazzymaps.com and then you can choose what kind of style you like. You can search different colors and stuff like that or just make it simple and get what you want. I actually really don't like the Color Widgets app because it glitches all the time and shows the wrong time, but I'm sure they're going to fix it very soon since everyone's using it now. 
So next I'm going to show you guys how I made these custom circle widgets and this is definitely my favorite element because I, like I said I really don't like the square shape with the rounded edges. So when you open the Canva app you want to make a square again, the Instagram one works great. And then you can just click the plus button in the bottom right corner and you can use a circle frame. So this is really cool because you can take any photo you have and make it into a circle. If you don't want to use a photo and you just want to do one of the inspirational quotes like I did, then you can just click the regular shape like we did for the lock screen. And then once again, just make sure that the background is the same color as whatever your background is. So I have mine as white. And then export it and then you can make a widget by going to the app called Widgetsmith. And then you just want to make a small widget and then choose the photo option, put your photo in and then you're good to go. You can just add it to your home screen with the plus button and choose the right one. And there are so many different ways that you could customize this hack. So I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different ideas that I have. So if you wanted your name or a word or something with photos as the letters, you can actually make a medium widget and have the word and make all of the frames letters as you can see me doing here. And you can add just photos in there and then have it say whatever you want. You could also turn one of your photos into a blob shape, which is super trendy right now, or like one of those sketch shape. I don't know how to describe it, but I'll show you right here. It looks like it was drawn. So those would make super cool custom widgets. You could also just take a regular photo, just like the rectangle, and you could put a couple of them on a widget like you see me doing here. And then you can search up the word tape under elements and make it look like you taped the photos onto the screen. And just look how cool this one turns out. It would work with so many aesthetics and it's definitely one of my favorites. And then just one last thing to show you guys, I do have this app Smart Tasks, which is what I use instead of the Reminders app, but you can really use either. And I hope that all of these tips helped you guys come up with some different ideas for your own home screens. If you want these same wallpapers or icons or anything as me and Dylan, I'm going to put them on the screen right now and for the rest of the video so you can save them, use them, whatever you want. If you guys have any questions or other ideas, make sure to put them in the comments. And make sure to like this video if you liked it because it's not my normal content, but a lot of people were asking, so I wanted to do it for you guys. And I will see you guys all very soon. Bye-bye.